Hi, my name is Kent Lee and I teach computer science at Luther College. So in this video, this is lesson 11 in the uh, Python Programming by Example series. And in this lesson, we'll be learning um, how to make the frog in our Frogger application uh, die when he goes into the river and gets eaten by a crocodile. Um, so to start this session, we're going to open up our uh, Spotlight search and search for terminal again. Start that up. And then within the terminal, we're going to CD and to CD to go home, first of all, CD then to documents, CD to programming, and then CD into the Frogger uh, application. And we're going to do a, from here, we're going to do a git checkout dash F and we're going to be doing lesson 11 so that's what we're going to get set up here um, if you're on a windows machine you can do open up the git bash shell and execute these same commands to uh, get everything set up for yourself then we'll open up wing 101 the frogger should come up and we should have uh, a log and we should have we should have logs and we should have frogs and we should be able to get hit by uh, the the race cars and we should be able to jump onto the logs just reviewing what we've got so far we've got this code that makes us get hit by race cars and um, be able to jump onto logs as they approach so there's a log and as they wrap around we'll come back in the middle of the log there and be able to leave and move on to the next one okay so um, that's what we've got right now but we need to add some alligators to this or some crocodiles and if I go back to my project and go into the images directory and look there I can see that I have a croc.gif so I'm going to add another um, I'm going to register another shape here and we're just going to do it right with the other ones screen.register shape and we're adding to this uh, images slash croc dot gif okay and um, and then we're going to of course create another class as well now um, we might as well copy one of the other ones in fact I think the log is maybe a good one to copy so we'll take the log class here highlight everything in it copy it and then just paste in another copy of it so I've got two copies of log at this point okay so the second one I'm gonna go ahead and make that a, a crocodile so we'll just do croc and um, I think it's actually crocodile so we'll make it that way and it inherits from raw turtle and its image is croc.gif and I think it's K C R O C K is what we've got there okay and um, all the rest of that is okay except we don't need to worry about intersecting anymore because we're not going to worry about um, the crocodile actually hitting the turtle at this point we're just going to uh, we're just going to be we're just going to have some crocodiles in there so we'll let the uh, crocodile wrap around so we don't need this smooth frog. We don't have to worry about this code. We have pretty much the base code here for moving and wrapping around. And I think that takes care of everything for croc. So go ahead and get that created first. Okay, pause the video here. Okay, and now that we've got that, uh, we're going to want to add some crocodiles to our um, to our stream. Now the uh, logs are added up here but I think maybe the crocodiles should go on top of the the uh, if they ever showed up they would go on top of the um, of the frog so we're gonna add our crocodiles to the end down here just where we added the race cars so we'll just say uh, crocs is equal to the empty list and then for each crocodile, um, we'll do uh, croc and it's uh, 
needs to be created with a canvas and an X and a Y. So we'll go ahead and make sure we provide those when we go to create them. So the canvas is, created, is passed in first. And then the X and the Y, now if we look at logs here, we've got one at minus 500, minus 400. Maybe we should go minus 700 and minus 600. So maybe we need a few more that are um, maybe at minus, uh, maybe we could start at minus, um, uh, let's see here. So if we started them at minus, 800, 900 maybe, and uh, 1,000, maybe we could have three crocodiles that we have go across the screen. So we'll start one at minus 800, and we'll put that one at the uh, 150, okay? And then maybe we'll add that then to the, uh, to the list, crocs.append croc, okay? And why don't you create a few more? We'll put one at minus uh, uh, 950. And we'll create one more here. And we'll put that at minus 1,000, uh, 150. OK. So pause the video, add those two more objects there. OK, so if you've done that, we should have something that looks like this. Croc. Uh, equals croc and canvas is the canvas being passed in and minus uh, 900 comma 50 okay and then we'll do crocs dot append croc and we'll just copy those two lines and change the fields that we need to for the next one here minus 100 and 150 and we've appended that as well okay so what do you think comes next then if we are going to make the crocodiles work we need to go ahead and animate them so you can pause the code here and try to write that code yourself to get those things animated okay so here's what we need to do we need to go back to the animate function um, which is down below this here and we're going to have to go through the list just like we're doing here for the logs so we're gonna have to do for croc in crocs and we're gonna have to say croc dot forward and we'll tell them to go forward two each time now there's no there's no frog in this case so hopefully if we've done everything correctly we'll see that everything moves nicely across the screen. Looks like there's our crocodiles. We might need a little bit more room between some of those crocodiles there. They're a little bit on top of each other, so we'll maybe make them just a little bit further apart. And this one, we could maybe move that back just a little bit as well. So uh, let's see here. The two that are at 150 are on top of each other. One's at 400, oh, I'm sorry, not there. The two that are at, yeah, so we got 150, 50, and 150. So these two are on top of each other. The 150s are the ones that are on top of each other. And we got one at minus 800 and one at minus 100. And maybe we can make those be a little, uh, oh, this is supposed to be 1,000. I see that. And uh, let's just try it again and see what we've got then. So that's looking pretty good. Uh, we could maybe fit one more crocodile in there if we wanted to, to, uh, to just kind of fill up the space. Or we could maybe move a log over and have a crocodile interspersed with it so you can play with that and decide what where you want your crocodiles and and logs to appear at um, and maybe add one more crocodile if you would like to okay so we've got the crocodiles there 
what we want is to know whether or not we're on a log when we're on the when we're in the river so if we're not on a log and we're in the river then we have a problem then we're going to get eaten by a crocodile so in log here we already know if we're moving the frog with the log I'm going to return at the end of this I'm going to return move frog from this which will tell us that we're moving with the frog or not now moving with the log or not now down here in animate as I go through I am going to use a pattern down here called guess and check so my guess here is that I'm not on a log so I'm gonna say on a log is equal to false okay that's my guess and then I'm gonna check as I move the log with the frog I'm gonna say if log dot forward frog and that means that if that's returning true that means that the frog is on the log so then I set on a log to true so this is this guess and check pattern that I just talked about for just a moment I made a guess here that I that the frog is not on a log but if I find one that a log where the frog is on it then I'm gonna set this on a log to true now after I'm done um, I can check to see if I'm not on a log okay and I want to know is the frogs um, y coordinate if it's greater than zero because zero zero is kind of right in the middle and the frogs y coordinate um, if it's less than 200 then I'm in the river so these two things together say that I'm in the river and if I'm not on a log and in the river then I've got a problem so I'm gonna write uh, uh, a message to the screen tk enter dot message box dot show info and I'm gonna say something like yum yum and uh, you just fed the crocs the crocodiles okay so um, so that's gonna show that message and then if that happens I probably want the frog to go and start over so frog dot go to zero comma minus 250 to get things all started again here okay um, now uh, so the race car we in the race car we take care of showing a message box if we got run over we do it slightly differently with the uh, with the logs here because we want to know if we're on any log um, and then if not we're going to uh, uh, say that we fell into the river and got eaten by a croc okay so I've got this running I can get through here I want to be able to jump onto a log and as soon as I do that it says you just fed the crocodiles so the problem here is that I can't jump enough to get onto a log without feeding the crocodiles so I need to be able to jump further to be able to jump further I'm going to have to define another event handler okay so we have one event handler handling right now um, the uh, the on key press for jump but we're gonna define another one now so that we can jump a little further okay so we'll call this super jump in this case so super jump is going to make our frog go forward not 10 but 50 so frog dot forward 50 and that should take care of moving us far enough to jump onto the logs and then we'll do a screen dot update after we've done that and then we got to register that so we'll do a screen dot on key press and we'll call our super jump in that case okay 
and we want H, I think, probably to be our super jump. So you can play around with this and define other event handlers too. Um, if you would like to, you could have a little Easter egg if you want to that gets you all the way to the end. Um, but in this case, we're able to move through now. And if I type H, I typed it just a little too soon there. <coughs> so get there, H, and I can jump onto the log. Exactly what I want. Um, and then, oops, I didn't quite jump far enough there, so I need to be able to jump just a little further to get to the next log. <coughs> so super jump may have to be modified a little bit to get it to play. I'll let you take care of that. Um, and uh, you might have to jump just a little bit further. And there are some other things that you might want to be able to do too. For instance, you may be able to, you may want to be able to hit the left and right keys to make the frog move left or right on the screen. Um, right now you can't do that, but that may be something that you want to be able to do in this game. So you would have to go and add your own event handler for handling the left and the right keys to be able to move around. So. I'll let you work through those things, but we now have enough for the uh, for the frog to move through um, most of this and and get almost all the way there, all the way across. Okay, so we'll see you in the next lesson.